Back here at home tonight, an 18 year old enjoying summer before heading off to college is one of two teenagers killed in an outbreak of violence in the district. 17 people were shot and four of them killed in a series of shootings over the weekend. News Force Jackie Benson spoke to the mother of one victim who graduated just 10 days before she was killed. 18 year old Kendall Myers was a young woman other young people looked up to. A born leader, she was captain of the cheer squad and a frequent presence on the honor roll at McKinley Tech in Northwest D.C. At graduation June 18th, the audience burst into applause as she accepted her diploma. Her mortarboard carried a quote from the Bible, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. Kendall was a very intelligent, bright, funny, charismatic young lady, anybody that she came in contact with, she left a, an imprint on them in their life. Saturday night, just before midnight, the 18-year-old and some of her friends were outside the Park Place at Petworth Apartments in the 800 block of Quincy Street Northwest, where a roof party was being held. Minutes later, a car drove by and sprayed the area with gunfire. Windows in the building shattered. The bullets took chunks out of the red brick facade and penetrated the metal door frame of the Dunkin' Donuts next door. Two younger teens were injured. But Kendall Myers, who was supposed to attend North Carolina Central University this fall, did not survive. Her mother, Miosha, says she is surviving the agony of this loss by leaning into her faith. What I'm working towards is developing some sense of memorial, some type of memorial that I can always have her close and near me. Because even though she's gone in the flesh, her spirit will always be with me. About three hours before the Quincy Street shooting and less than two miles away, police were called to the 1700 block of 8th Street Northwest where another teenager was shot and killed. Police have not said whether there may be any connections between the murder of 15-year-old Blue Bryant and the gunfire incident that took the life of Kendall Myers. You can see there are two cameras here at the shooting scene on Quincy Street. D.C. police have not released any images of people or vehicles they believe may be connected to this murder. In Northwest, Jackie Benson, News 4.